What's up guys, DJ here with Art of Visuals and today we're going to be talking about how to get epic slow motion on your Xperia phone. And then we're going to be giving you guys some tips, some tricks, and some of the best settings that you can use to get epic slow motion on your own Xperia phone. First things first, setting up your Xperia for shooting 4K 120 slow mo. So what you'll do is use Videography Pro to set your frame rate to 120 frames per second and your shutter speed to around 1 over 240. So if you don't know how to set up your shutter speed and your frame rate and all of that stuff, a good rule of thumb is to take whatever your frame rate is and to double it to get your shutter speed. So if your frame rate's 120 frames per second, then your shutter speed should be around 1 over 240. A really nice way to add some emphasis onto your slow motion is to do what's called speed ramping. So speed ramping is showing your footage at normal speed or a little bit sped up and then only slowing down the portion of the video that you want to emphasize. So at the height of the action, then you cut to slow mo. Another great way to emphasize your slow motion footage is to add sound effects in post. Shooting things that move really fast is the best way to get epic slow motion. Get to know your focal length. So one of the best ways to add really interesting effects to your videos is to understand all of your different focal lengths that you have on your Xperia phone. So something like a 16 millimeter looks really good when it's close up to whatever the subject is. It really lets you capture everything that's in the frame. A 24 millimeter lets you get a little bit further away from your subject and allows you to focus on the subject with a little bit of the background for context. And then an 85 millimeter allows you to really zoom in and see close up on whatever the fast moving subject is. Sometimes it can be really dangerous getting up close to fast moving subjects like cars or bikes or anything that could hurt you. So that's where the 85 comes in and is a great alternative to a wider lens. So you can really punch in on whatever the action is. So there's a few tools that will make your life so much easier when you're shooting slow motion. The first one is an ND filter. You can think of an ND filter like sunglasses for your camera. It's gonna make shooting with the 180 degree shutter roll a lot easier because instead of having to up your shutter speed or your frame rate to get the shot darker, you can just twist this and dial it in. Okay, so the next piece of gear that I always take on shoes with me is a friction arm and super clamps. This is really great because you can connect these to just about anything, tripods, C-stands, even a bike, and then you can connect the phone to the other end and you can get stable footage just about anywhere. Another piece of gear that's gonna be really great for getting cinematic slow motion footage is gonna be a gimbal. So this is a Ronin and we have used it on just about every Xperia shoot that we've done. It really adds a ton of production value to your shoots. So now we're gonna talk about post-processing. When you're post-processing 120 frames per second slow motion footage, you can slow it down to about 25% without it looking wonky. Any more than that and it'll start to get choppy. Faster than that is okay typically. And a trick that we hit on before is to do something called speed ramping where you speed up the footage or leave it normal speed and then slow it down drastically for effect. This emphasizes the slow motion and makes it look slower than normal. So if you slow the video down more than 25%, typically it's gonna look really choppy. Faster than that is usually okay. I usually will do about 50% speed on 120 frames per second slow-mo and it still looks good. Get experimental. One of the best parts of trying out a camera is just experimenting and having fun. So like anything, slow motion is just another tool in your arsenal for better storytelling. So the coolest thing in my opinion about the Xperia is you can take it everywhere with you. You can keep it in your pocket and you can shoot whenever the moment strikes. You can experiment with the different focal lengths and different slow motion speeds and see what works for your style of storytelling. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one. See you guys next time.